Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is R. Lee Ingalls, and this podcast is part of my family series. Uh, so first of all, I want to apologize for taking so long to get another video posted. It has been quite uh, uh, an experience over the last several months. Uh, first of all, we had the holidays, which the holidays for our family and me is always good. You spend a lot of time with family and friends, and there's a lot of events going on, so it's it's hard to take out time uh, and come up with a theme and and uh, items to talk about, etc. Uh, and then all the editing and all that other stuff that goes along with creating a, a a podcast, a video podcast. So, you know, that kind of explains the time period before uh, and during the holidays. Uh, but 2024 came on uh, really strong and not in a good way. Uh, on the 4th of January, we found out that an aunt had been in a horrific car accident. Uh, and unfortunately, she did not survive, and, and neither did her her little dog. So uh, it was unexpected. Uh, what had happened was we ended up having to go to Memphis to kind of put her affairs in order um, and prepare for, for what's next for her. So I was away for a couple of weeks uh, during that time period. And then when I got back, uh, I took a trip, a uh, weekend getaway, just to get away from everything. And during that weekend, my mother's health uh, took a turn for the worse. Uh, and they, they were afraid she wouldn't survive that weekend, but she did. Uh, and today, uh, which is uh, Thursday, February 9th, I believe, uh, she's still with us. But um, So she called us all in, and she said uh, she no longer wanted to have preventative care. Uh, so there were a couple of treatments that she needed to have, uh, but because of the difficulty in getting her to those treatments, she decided she no longer wanted to do that that she would rather go into comfort care, and make sure she's comfortable. She realized that puts her then in her final days here with us. So that's where she is. Uh, I was able to spend some time with her. I do have a post um, that I put out there on Facebook and Instagram, uh, which you, you should be seeing the links to those or the how to get to them uh, below. But as I said, she's still with us. However, she is no longer responsive. She doesn't respond to anyone talking to her or uh, touching her, those kind of things. So uh, it, it, it's you know great sadness uh, that my mother is at that place. But uh, I, uh, many of you, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm 70 years old. And how many 70-year-olds can say that they still have their mother here with them? Uh, so I'm, I feel very fortunate to have had her all these years. There's a lot of stories that I have to tell about her, memories that I'll, I will share in time. Uh, but that announcement meant that I had to go home again, and, and had to is the wrong word to use. Uh, I went home to spend some time with her while she's still with us and uh, able to enjoy the company. Um, and I'll, like I said, I, I have more to share about that. Uh, one of the things that she asked uh, was that I... Um, write a book about her and her sister, my Aunt Gualda, who, um, you know, arguably they were lifelong best friends. They shared everything together, including a trip to Europe back in 1983. For my mother, it was a trip of a lifetime. She only did that once. Um, she saved everything from that trip. Uh, for Aunt Gualda, Aunt Gualda was a school teacher. So she went to Europe many, many times with her group of uh, educator friends. Uh, so it wasn't uncommon for her, but her trip with mom kind of added that, you know, wide-eyed uh, wonderment left Aunt Gualda so, for so long prior to that. So uh, I am going to write a book. It'll probably be a picture book, more pictures than, than words, uh, only because uh, mom has this huge, huge albums and other uh, uh, postcards and photos, etc., that she collected and wrote and all that stuff. And I want to make sure that I include it all, capture the sense of her going on this trip of a lifetime with her sister, who again um, is was her lifelong best friend. So yeah, it's a project that I'm working on now. So my first book was Ingles on the Prairie. You know that that was a story of my parents, Jennifer and Ingles. Uh, Dad never knew that I wrote the book or even intended to write the book. Uh, Mom, um, not only did she know, but she uh, gave me uh, the okay to do it. And then those early chapters where she was a child and, and a young adult, and I wasn't really there, she contributed quite a bit to it. So 
if you haven't read it, again, it's Ingles on the Prairie. You can buy it on Amazon, uh, Goodreads. Uh, I think you can buy it at Walmart and, and a few other sites as well. So hopefully um, you'll get it, read it, enjoy it. Uh, if you would like to have a signed copy, reach out to me. Uh, we'll work toward getting you uh, a signed copy of the book. All my contact information should be showing up here. So um, hopefully that is the case. Uh, if you have any questions or, or um, anything, just reach out to me. I'm glad to, to respond to, to whatever you might have. So first, first podcast of the new year. Uh, more to come. I promise I will not be so late in getting them out. Hopefully the year will settle down from this point forward. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your waiting. Uh, all the feedback that I've gotten from everybody on all of my platforms uh, has been heartwarming. So I appreciate it. My family appreciates it. Thank you.